Okay, this is polynomials. This is day two of the flipped classroom. This is section 5-4, day two. Really quickly, there's an easier way, if the term in with the x is linear, there's an easier way to long divide, or, well, easier way to divide, and it's called synthetic division. Now, synthetic division, the idea behind it is that this z minus 4 represents a root. And technically, when you take this root, z minus 4, and you set it equal to 0, you add 4 to both sides, the actual 0 that you're using is not negative 4, it's actually 4. This works just like all the zeros that we've solved for. So the number, the zero that comes from this factor is the number that goes in this little box. Now notice the one, the two, and the negative 24, those are coming from the original equation up here, z squared plus 2z minus 24. They're the coefficients of each of the terms. Now the process for synthetic division is pretty easy. You drop your one. And then you're actually going to multiply. It's like a backward check mark in a way. 4 times 1 is 4. And for your answer, with that 2 and the 4, the signs are the same. If the signs are the same, you're going to add. If they were different, you would subtract, but they're the same. And then you start the process all over again. So watch the backward check mark. 4 times 6 gives you a positive 24. The signs are different. Since they're different, you will subtract. And this part right here is your remainder. This part is your answer. Now the important thing to remember is that I started with a z squared equation, a quadratic. When I divide out one of the zeros, it's no longer a z squared or a quadratic equation. It drops one degree. So this would be a 1z plus 6. Now, of course, I'm not going to write a 1 in front of it, but my answer would just be z plus 1. The, start, the power that you start with, your answer is always one degree less. So if we look at a second problem, let me move this up a little bit. If we start with a second example, I am going to have the same thing. I look at this and I tell myself I cannot use that negative 2. I have to solve it and figure out that the actual 0 is 2. 2 is the number that I'm going to put in this little box right here. And then I just start the process. The process for synthetic division, the 5 drops down. You never change it. And then it's like a backward check mark. 2 times 5 is 10. Signs are different. So you subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number. Go to the next thing. 2 times negative 3. That gives me a negative 6. Again. The signs are different, positive and negative. So you're going to subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number. One more time, I am going to do my backward check mark. 2 times 4 is 8. I notice that the signs are different, so that means I will subtract, and I'll end up with a 0. Now this is my remainder. In the last two examples, I've had a remainder of 0. It is possible to have a remainder right here. So I need to put my final answer in. I started with a cubic equation. Sometimes I put this little x to the 3 up top just so I remember what the degree is that I started with. And I know that my answer is 1 degree down. And I take the 3. And again, it keeps decreasing. And then the 4. And that is my factor. So this is the x squared equation multiplied by this. That gives me this answer. 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. Now order does matter. 
And you have to make sure that you put placeholders in. That's probably the one thing that's a little bit um, hard to remember to do. So as I look at these, um, let's just set a couple of these up. Let's look at number four. I know that my x value that I'm using is going to be four. Four is the number that goes in the little box. I look at the leading coefficients of all my terms. I notice that I am missing an x squared. So I have to be careful to put a placeholder here. The, leading, the coefficients are 1, negative 3, 0, negative 7, and negative 14. Now I always put my line right here because that last number is going to be my remainder. And at this point, I just start the process. So the 1 drops down. And then I am going to start with the multiplying process. 4 times 1 is 4. Signs are different. Subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number, which is 1. The next term, 4 times 1 is 4. Signs are pretty much the same. 0 doesn't really have a sign, so 0 plus 4 is 4. Next part, I am going to multiply again. 4 times 4 is 16. The signs are different. I am going to subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number, 9. And one more time, 4 times 9 is 36. Now I've got a situation where these don't match. I'm going to have a remainder here. The signs are different. The bigger one uh, is positive, so we're going to get to keep that. And I am left with a 22. So my final answer from my synthetic division, I started with an x to the fourth. I'm going to drop down one degree, one x to the third, plus one x squared, plus 4x plus 9. Since that's a positive 22, my remainder will be 22 over, not the 4. It's 22 over the original factor that I started with. So the other three problems I'm going to let you try on your own. We'll do the key setup. I'll get it going for you, and then I will have you pause the video. Try these on your own, and I'll give you the final answer. On this one, negative 5, 1, negative 2, 3. Whoops. How about I give you some room? The 1 is going to drop down, and you take it from there. The one above, negative 3, I'm going to use 6, negative 5, and negative 6. The 6 will drop down, and you will start working that one out the rest of the way. And one more on this side over here. Negative 2 is the number that goes in the box. 3, negative 7. There is no x squared, so I have to put in a placeholder, a 5, and a negative 1. And then, of course, you do synthetic division from there. OK? So I will put the answers up. Pause the video if you need to at this point. Work these three out on your own while I'm putting the answers up. That's that one. Minus 13.
There you go. Those are your final answers. I kind of crunched them in. But please make sure you try these on your own and check them. Come to class with any questions that you'd have. Thanks.